So here's the real question. How do we do good to our enemies? As long as we are willing to obey God's will, let me tell you, he will give you an idea of what to do and how to do it. Let me tell you a true story of a Chinese farmer. He was a believer in Christ. His neighbor farmer was not. And their rice paddies, you know, they all grow rice. Their rice paddies were next to each other. And his field was on the higher ground, and that of his neighbor was on the lower ground. To grow rice, if you've ever seen it, you must keep the paddy, the field, watered all the time. If there's not enough water in the field, you have to irrigate the field with water well. Back then, you know, they didn't have any modern day equipment. So one summer, there was drought, not enough rain, so the farmers had to water the fields every other day, working on the water well. You know water well, you keep working on it and pour the water into the field for several hours a day. And this Christian farmer watered his field and by the end of the day, he was happy. On the following morning, when he went out to his field, lo and behold, all the water from his field was gone. He investigated and found out that there was a hole that drained all the water from his into his neighbor's field. Of course, when he checked out his neighbor, his neighbor totally denied, no, I don't know anything about it. Now, what would you do at this point if you are that Christian farmer? This farmer didn't say a thing to his neighbor. He simply patched the hole, irrigated his field again. Before he went home, though, he made sure there was no hole all around. The next day, it happened again. Another hole on the other side of his field took all the water from his field to his neighbors. Since he was the believer in Christ, this time he went to the Lord in prayer. He inquired of the Lord, what to do, Lord? What am I supposed to do? The Lord gave him an idea. Now, this is what he did that day. He patched the hole again, started filling the field with water, not his own though, but his neighbor's field first. It took twice longer than usual, but he was dead tired by the end of the day. Lo and behold, the next day, the waters remained in his field. No leakage, no holes. After he did good to his nasty neighbor, his neighbor came to him, confessed his trespass, and asked for forgiveness. His neighbor, who was deeply touched with his Christian love, later became a Christian himself. Praise God. 